knotty problem, and we could have a whole discussion on that. I think that certainly studying Mars will help us work our environmental problems. It'll be a minor help. The major help will come from studying Earth. The biggest help will come from an attitude change. But I appreciate your point, uh, and maybe there is a sense of urgency. Okay. Next question. Chris, I'm a chemical engineer whose job has always been to make things faster, better, cheaper, and I really don't get why you think uh, it's easier to establish a base on the moon. From my perspective, you know, we have industries moving uh, across the ocean because it's cheaper to make it there, not because they're in their backyard. And from my standpoint of looking at how you support a base, uh, it costs us thousands of pounds to ship anything into space. We've got to ship all our supplies to survive to the moon. Why is it easier to make a base there when we can get the stuff locally on Mars? Yeah, it's because the moon is close. I'll say it one more time. The moon is close. And that, when you look at the details, that works out to be an enormous advantage in terms of operations, in terms of safety, in terms of rotating crew. It turns out to be a big, a really big, big deal. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Last, last question. Okay, we were together. Uh, we were together 12 years ago at the founding convention. This yeah. is the second time I'm here, and I must say that I think we've we've become more and more scared of Mars, and con conventional wisdom has also backslided, um, if I may say so. The um, point here is, we we don't realize, I think, still today, and it's getting worse that that. Space exploration, as I've said it here in the last two, three days, has we, we, we have to do everything with space to launch humanity into it because it is the last dimension that will kick or will kick or boom and prosperity in, in humanity. And that's now not how things are going today. So it, the, besides the, all the other noble reasons, one very strong reason is down here on Earth. That's the first thing. Secondly, I, I would like maybe to p come to the rescue between Dr. Zubrin and, and, and the argument of the moon. Why not let, why are, why are we moving all together and duplicating things? Why don't we let the Japanese handle the moon? Why don't we give the job to the Japs to do the moon and the Chinese that are so keen? I mean, that's, that's a noble, again, uh, 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 challenge and we stick to Mars as you and many other of us had this great uh, uh, practical way of, of doing it and, and I really think it's the only way otherwise we're beating about the bush thank you very much I'll just comment there is a there is a Japanese base in Antarctica but the US has the biggest base in Antarctica and the US will have the biggest base on the moon that's just the nature of the U.S. <laughs>